OK, uh, we have seen the uh, things which we have covered uh, yesterday. OK, uh, those are what uh, um, individual correspondence, individual correspondence with the document postings as well as the um, document display or uh, payment,ing I mean, whatever the payments that we are doing based on that one also we can able to create the correspondence and all. And uh, next one is um, whenever we uh, try to uh, create the print for that particular correspondence, then a spool request will be generated and jobs will be run uh, automatically from the backend side. OK. And now uh, today we will going to see uh, one important scenario. How we can able to send the account uh, statements uh, OK by using correspondence. OK to the customers or vendors or anything. Go to the SAP system. So this is this is just a uh, simple scenario all of you. OK now log in into the SAP system. Log in into the SAP system. Log on into the SAP system. Now, uh, uh, simple scenario, all of you. Our thing is that whenever we go for the uh, this BP master records, okay. So in company code, you can able to see the customer correspondence or vendor correspondence and all. Okay, what we will do is so go to the transaction code BP. Go to the transaction code BP. All right. Go to the transaction code BP. Uh, so take out that particular person. Hmm. And take out the customer number. So we are doing it for the customers, right? Um, so take out the customer number and uh, go to the drop down option. Uh, take out that customer. Knowledge. Go to the start option. Go to the start option and now double click on this one and here um take out the display in bp role in the display in bp role in the display in bp role take out the customer financial accounting and go to the company code data go to the company code data so in the company code data go to the um, display or edit option display or edit option and here you have the customer correspondence right in this customer correspondence you have the running processes and all, all of you. Now drag it to the downside and this correspondence you can able to have this bank statement. Bank statement is nothing but the account statement. I mean that customer account statement we can call it as a in that bank statement. Go to the drop down option. In that bank statement, go to the drop down option. And here there is a weekly account statement. There is a monthly accounting statements you have all of you. OK, so you can choose the monthly accounting statements. I mean, that is your choice. I will tell you when it, when it comes to the uh, manual rec bank reconciliation statement. OK, there is a two uh, reconciliation statements all of you. One is electronic bank reconciliation statement and another one is manual bank reconciliation statement. OK. And on that scenario, how we can able to do it? OK, that is the point we have. And at the same time in interview, they will going to ask you the EBS as well as the um, manual bank reconciliation statements. And after that, whatever the outgoing banks and incoming banks and main banks that you have, after running each and everything for the weekly or daily or monthly, anything you can take out. Um, OK, you will going to generate the statements right uh, So to generate that particular statements so for that particular uh, customers or vendors, OK, correspondence is the most important point. And for that thing, bank statement is also very, very important. Uh, OK, in that particular bank statement, we need to choose monthly accounting statement. OK, so go to the save button. Go to the save button. Go to the save button. Huh. Now give slash in. Go to the transaction code F dot 27. Go to the transaction code F dot 27. Yes. And here enter your company code. And enter the account type as D. And take out that account. Uh, that account is um, your customer account. 
Mm, you do one thing. Go to the FBL five N. Go to the FBL five N. Triple zero one zero three. Triple zero one zero three. I think so. Okay, good. Then next one. Uh, when it comes to this um, indicators, okay. No, no. Come back to the screen. Come back to the screen. Uh -huh. Here, indicator in master record. Okay, indicator in master record. Go to the drop down option. I mean, whatever the indicators that we are using, okay, in the master records, that should be used in this F.27 transaction code. Okay, that is the most important point. And key dates for account statement. What is the key date for accounting statement? You do one thing. Just give 01.08.2024 to 31.08.2024. Okay, I'm just uh, taking the accounting statement for this month. Okay, that means 01.08.2024 to 31.08.2024. Um, okay, so no need to give any accounting clerks and all. Okay, and correspondence. Whenever you are having this correspondence, you no need to go for the accounting clerks. Okay, go to the drop down option, and we have defined our own correspondence, right? What is that correspondence? Right to the downside, uh, you have created your own correspondence ZPRM1, right? Z P R M one. Mm. Mm. Double click on it. Go to the continue option. OK, this is the way you can able to take out all of you. OK, so then go to the execute option. Go to the execute option. Mm, correspondence type is not permitted since uh, no data required. No data required. OK. Hmm, what we will do is um, go to the correspondence. Go to the correspondence. OK, we will we will try to take out the no, no, no. Correspondence is not permitted since no date required. OK, you do one thing. Remove the date. Remove the date. Hmm. No, no, no. Basically, uh, if it if we are having the dates and all we can go with the um, we can go with the correspondence that is standard correspondence, system correspondence and all. OK, so that is the thing. So at least it is asking for the date. OK, got got just give 0 0.01.08.2024 to 31.08.2024. And in the correspondence, in the correspondence, hmm, go to the drop down option. And we will going to take out the standard correspondence. Uh, so account statement is there, right? SAP 06. Take out the account statements. See, I'm just randomly taking. OK, so go to the execute option. Go to the execute option. So now, yes, one periodic statement was requested. Go to the continue option. Yes, continue. Order. Yes. Click on the S. Mm, give the L output device LP01. And go to the continue option. OK, so this is the basic accounting statement in all of you and select the accounting statement. Mm. Go to the system and go to the own spool request. Go to the system. Uh, OK, so uh, 2102. No, no, no. 14.08.2020. OK, right. So go to the display option. Go to the display option. Hmm. So right to the downside. So this is the statement all of you. I mean for that uh, uh, period 01.08.2024 to uh, 31.08.2024 for that particular customer. What is the final balance on the date of 31.08.2024? 60,500 rupees is the thing. OK, so this is the way you can able to say it. And automatically that uh, spool request will be generated based on that uh, EDI will be formed. OK, in the SAP present uh, uh, system, it will not going to form. Why? Because it is a demo system, right? So this is the way you can able to uh, create the spool requests. You got my point. So based on the accounting statements and all. OK, so now um, you have requested each and everything all of you. Now you want to delete it. OK, so to delete that particular request is and all. What is the transaction code that you can able to use? Uh, take out the new screen and go to the transaction code F dot 63. 
go to this transaction code f dot 63 f dot 63 um so now whatever the correspondence you have i mean correspondence request is you have based on that if you give the correspondence if you give the company code if you give the uh, accounting type uh, automatically when you execute it automatically those requests will be deleted okay so based on the monthly wise based on the daily wise based on the um weekly wise okay all these requests can be deleted for that particular customers okay so that is the choice we have okay in in your interview they will just ask you the question so what is the correspond can we delete the correspondence requests based on the um, company code and based on the accounting types and all i mean open item account and all that is a customer account and all yes we can able to delete it using transaction code f.63 okay you got my point and open that uh, individual um, uh, thing now i mean uh, you have opened that uh, uh, notepad right uh, correspondence notepad yesterday's so just open that uh, correspondence notepad open that correspondence notepad and try to give try to give hmm, accounting statements uh, or else uh, sorry sending accounting statements by using correspondence sending accounting statements sending accounting statements by using correspondence by using correspondence using transaction uh, sorry by using correspondence um in the bp master record in the bp master record in the bp master record okay the next one the next one execute the correspondence bank statements execute the execute the correspondence execute the correspondence bank statements execute the correspondence bank statements using transaction code f.27 f. using transaction code f.27 okay using transaction code f.27 then next one delete the correspondence request delete the delete the correspondence request request using transaction code f.63 those all are very very important things on all all of you why because whatever the manual bank reconciliation statements you have based on that thing only they will going to generate the correspondence simple and at the same time uh, after uh, doing the reconciliation like bank reconciliations and all what we will do so we will try to create the bank statement and that will be sent to the customer or vendor okay based on their requirements okay so to delete that correspondent request is based on the monthly wise or daily wise or else uh, uh, weekly wise we can able to use the transaction code f.63 okay so this is the main scenario we have uh, i mean in the present um, uh, situation so i can uh, like for uh, uh, vendor invoice management or customer invoice management and all uh, so many people will going to ask you the questions on correspondence okay 